how do you update your Samsung Odyssey G7's firmware? Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I'm going to show you how to easily update your Samsung Odyssey's G7's firmware. So it's very simple, you just go to the Samsung.com website, you look for your Odyssey G7 gaming monitor, you go into support, you see right there, this is the current firmware of 1005.2. And this specific firmware, it's a 4K resolution, signal acceptance, and picture quality improvements. It's very simple. Download it to your computer. This is the service guide. Also, it shows you exactly how to update. It shows you which port to use, how to format your USB memory stick in a FAT32 format. So if you need to see this, here it is. You can also download this from the Samsung.com website. One thing to note, I actually got a Samsung USB stick, as you can see, a 32 gig, and that was not recognizable by the monitor. I believe the monitor is really picky on certain USB sticks, so I had to revert to my Duracell. Yes, Duracell makes USB sticks to a USB 2.0 stick. Now let's format the stick the way Samsung specifies. As you can see right there, FAT32 is the default. Now you just format it. That way the monitor will be able to read the USB stick with the file included. Now here is the file downloaded to the computer. What we're gonna do is we're going to extract the file into the USB stick. So there you go, it's already in the bin format as Samsung requests, here we go. We're gonna extract it onto the USB stick. As you can see, it's already in there. So let's just double check in the back of the monitor how we have it set up before we go into the monitor menu. Now this is the USB port we have to use it on number one. As you can see, the first one, that is the surface port. That's the one you have to input your USB stick to, as you can see here in this picture. So the monitor will be able to recognize. And then we easily go into the monitor menu, go into support. It's gonna read the USB stick. As you can see, it says if you wanna continue, we hit yes, let's proceed. And it will start updating to the current firmware. So it updates the firmware really fast, doesn't take too long. I haven't had any noticeable issues on 1002.0 and it'd be interesting to see with this new firmware what it brings to the table. Like it says, this 1005.2 brings 4K resolution acceptance, also picture quality improvements, and you could follow these easy steps on any new firmware upgrade that Samsung releases in the future. Also, don't forget to upgrade your GPU drivers as that will also bring fixes from the connection from your GPU to the monitor itself. So there you go, it is updated. The display port, as you saw in the top left corner, actually appears faster with this new update. I can tell right away before it would take like two to three seconds. Now it's like within a second. So it has improved there. Also right there it shows it's G-Sync compatible. So let's close this down and let's just double check the menu in the monitor to make sure it is updated to 1005.2. And as you can see right there, 1005.2, it is upgraded already in the firmware of the monitor. Now also one thing Samsung states, Turn off your monitor. I just disconnected the power from the monitor to make sure the monitor fully upgrades to the newest firmware. Let's go back and as you can see, it is with the 1005.2. But by doing this, you should be at the new firmware and you can do this in every sequential firmware that Samsung updates in the future. And if you ever have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll get to it as fast as possible. This monitor is amazing. And it's always good to know that Samsung will be updating this monitor with firmware fixes to give us a better experience. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss out on a future video. I'll see you guys next time.